Hello, welcome back gamers. This is Mark from GTR and you are watching me play Hardware Rivals Beta. Okay, I haven't played this game yet, so it's going to be a first for me as well. It's exclusive to the PS4 store. Okay, so we'll get straight into it. Oh, customization. Okay. I look like a toy soldier. Oh. Ah, oh, that's swag. You can move around as well. Oh, that's what I'm going. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay. Okay, that's male and female. Okay. I'll stick with that. Okay. Wraith. Mate, copies from Halo. Okay. Okay. This layout sort of reminds me of the the, um, the font reminds me of uh, Saints Row 4 a little bit. The, um, the customization of Saints Row 4. And then you've got a pink tank. Definitely Saints Row 4. Pink, purple, I don't know about. Um, yeah, I'll stick with that one. Okay, so get to know your vehicle and the basics of combat before you enter battle. Okay, let's do that. Okay, oh, that's me. That's my, uh, that's my skin. Okay, so as I said, I haven't played this yet. So it's going to be a first for me to see how it runs and how it plays. Uh, I have not even looked at the controls, so I apologise if I'm a little bit of a noob. Um, but we'll have to see how it goes. Okay. So the loading times are relatively long in comparison to the games. Blister Lake. Oh, that sounds horrible. Okay, that was a sexy voice, not gonna lie. Okay. Now is there R2 to move? Alright, rookie, let's see how good you are behind the wheel. Okay. Check out your minimap. It's at the top left of the screen. Waypoints are marked in the minimap. To complete the section, drive into all of the waypoints. Drive systems active. Oh mate, that is sick. Okay, yes, it's R2 to go, not without any other shooter. Okay, I don't know if I can shoot yet. Right. It's sort of got a little bit of a cartoony feel to it. But it's it's a weird combination between realism and cartoony. I like it though, it, it does look sort of like a toy box, sort of like a sandbox toy box sort of game. Yeah. It drives quite well actually. Nice and smooth. Oh shit, oh, okay, let's go, I can pressure it. Um, it drives well actually, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's nice and smooth on the joysticks. Okay, great job. Take a look around. Okay, so you can't use the right analog stick to look around in games like you can in like GTA or something. It's just one direct view going forward. Primary weapons. Primary weapon. Let's move on to the use of weapons. If your primary weapon is your best friend, it will never run out of ammo. Oh, sick. Use it to soften up or finish your targets. And that is definitely what she said. Fire your primary weapon by pressing R1. Oh shit. Okay, type wave. Ah, okay. That is R3 to recenter your turret. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, all the way in the distance. Oh, that shoots us. Oh, he's happy. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, health and armour. Okay, I'm gonna imagine a tank to be pretty hench, but... Next up, repairs and armour. It's important to keep your combat vehicle in excellent condition. You can see how much health and armour you have by checking the bars at the bottom of the screen. Okay. 
Oh shit. Well, that escalated quickly. You're virtually in urgent need of repair. Yeah, I can see that. Kind of on fire. Okay. You can click pickups to restore the health of your vehicle systems. You can also pick up armor to decrease that amount of damage that you take. Oh. Okay, so now I can use the uh, the right thumbstick to actually move around the tank top. It's a left trigger to obviously move around the direction of the vehicle. Okay. So that that oh bollocks. Okay. I'm not paying attention. Okay. Now, from the look of it, oh, we can reverse. Okay, sorry. Just got that. Uh, okay. Every time I pick up health, I gradually get better. Uh, oh, fuck Okay. So this isn't like GTA where if you drive into one of the waypoints anywhere inside the hitbox, it'll pick it up. You've got to drive directly over the blooming thing to pick it up. Oh, there's a ramp. Okay. Oh. Oh. Look, we can see some sort of amazing jump. That's sad. Okay. Secondary weapons. Time for the serious hardware. Your vehicle can be equipped with powerful secondary weapons. The weapons are collecting a pickup. Okay. The fire. Oh, that. Oh, shit. Destroy three vehicles to move on. Okay. Have it. Get some. Okay. Let's take a hand. Let's try something else. Yes, let's try something else. Pick them up and try them. Okay, so what I'm trying to do with fire, maybe? It's red. That's oh, a guided missile. This is a guided weapon for maximum effect. You need to lock on to your target before firing the weapon. Oh, there it goes. This is a very arcadey feeling game, actually. Uh, not the the animation of the firing is very like, blocky. Um, not pixelated, but blocky. Oh, plasma. I thought the plasma gun from uh, from Halo Reach. We lock it down and it fires like three or four plasma grenades at someone. Okay. No, are we turning around? Oh, oh, okay, maybe not. Dun, 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 dun. Some of a tune. Okay, let me try another one. What's this? Laser. Let's go magic one. Oh shit. Yes, boy. And this tank is hench. Okay. Training secondary weapons. Okay. I think it's a bit more interesting. Yes. Oh, moving vehicles. Oh, okay. Okay, so this was the lock on, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, come back. Come back. Come back. Where have we gone? Bring me that ass. Where have we gone? Coming to get you. Oh, for God's sake. I feel like I've royally fucked this up. Oh, maybe not. Kind of didn't get all the targets, but sure. You may also come across special weapons. These will trigger an event specific to a combat arena. You will need to learn how best to use these weapons. Okay. Let's trigger this one and see what happens. Okay. This is obviously arena dependent. Oh shit. Okay, I want to get a good view of this. 
I'll have some of that. I'll have some drift. Never seen a tank do a drift before, but you know, I've seen it here first. <laughs> okay. No, I can't look upwards because the tank can't move back or anything. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, maybe I've meant to be a little bit more underground than that. Oh well, no. <laughs> My bad. Oh, I'll have to do it again, do I? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna play with fire this time. Get on the ground. I'm just going here. That's a UFO, mate. Uh, that is an epic voice. I do like the countdown. Okay, I'm definitely on the ground this time. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you kidding me? That a building. If anything, being under a hangar and under a UFO would give me more protection than being a blooming what, a tiny hangar, whatever that is. Okay, it doesn't make sense, but sure. Okay, so we're gonna do this for the first third time lucky, hopefully. Look, this is this says no tank. Oh you go oh you can go further underground. It's like a bunker. I wanted to see the airstrike. So no matter where you are above ground, you will get fucked. Okay. So this does seem like the typical sort of arcade playing game so you know it's not really a distraction environment but you don't really need that for an arcade game it's more of the comical aspect you get from it so it does look like it's going to be a fun game to play okay so so that tutorial took roughly about 10 minutes it's not bad to get into the game and it is loading for me, okay. So a quick match, just jump straight into the combat, into a random match. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to be doing next. Um, okay, let's get straight into it. 